Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm going to show you this Luma Fade tool that I created. Basically I made it because the Luma Key effect in Final Cut Pro just gives weird results sometimes and I just wanted to make something that would smooth it out and make the transition look a bit smoother. It's also the same effect that I used to create this sky time lapse. So once you've downloaded the file from the download link in the description, what you want to do is unzip the folder, save it in your motion templates effects folder. Yeah, I've got it saved just there. So there's actually two ones. One gives a softer fade and the other one's a bit of a harsher fade. So once you've saved it in there, then restart Final Cut Pro and it should be in your effects tab right here. Okay, so to use it, what you've got to do is copy and paste your clip that you want to add the Luma Fade to and then apply the Luma Fader to the top shot. And what you're going to do is change the blend mode to stencil luma or silhouette luma it depends what effect you want to go for so stencil luma and then go to where you want the effect to start fading out go to the slider here and hit the keyframe and yeah leave leave it there because you want that's when you're going to start fading out and then go to where the clip's going to fade out and just slide it all the way down so once you've done that just create, turn that into a compound clip with those two clips. And then the clip that you want to show up underneath it, just slide it underneath. And then there you go. That's, uh, that's one way to, to use it. Okay, so let's do it again on this clip. Just copy, paste, oh. add your Luma Fade effect to the top shot stencil we'll go for silhouette luma this time that'll look cool because the sky will fade out and then the birds will still be flying so we'll start fading out there hit the keyframe move along to where you want it, the clip to completely fade out and just slide it up and then turn it into a compound clip and then slide your clip underneath and that's another transition done that one's pretty cool actually so what I could do here with the keyframes is make it so the birds are still flying in the background so if I go into the compound clip and add a keyframe there, move along, so yeah it's a bit more complicated but um, I think it definitely gives better results than the Final Cut Pro Lumakia effect. I hope that was helpful and I'll see you in the next one.